All right, so on the last video, you guys can click right here and check out. Make sure you do that because it's important here. Look at this right here, his focus on me. Now I didn't cue it at all, which means I don't tell him to focus or look, he just does it. So if you didn't watch the video, check it out. But long story short, when I get food out, he's to look at me, yes, and then get paid. So watch what it does in motion. That's why we're building this series all the way together so you guys can get an obedient dog in a series. So we have our food right here. We have the dog, we're gonna move forward. We're gonna start marking the heel command, which is the dog walking at our heels. So you guys can see right here, he's putting on the brakes a little bit. He's a little tired, good. All right, we're gonna go in motion here. Good, 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 yes. So the yes is gonna end the behavior. It, it kind of terminates what we're doing. Now, before we start saying heel, I wanna separate it completely. So what I'm gonna do is I know he's gonna offer me that heel command naturally. I'm gonna walk, he's gonna look at me in motion. He's gonna offer it, so I'm gonna start marking it. Really, heel, good heel. Good heel. So see how he's already offering this, guys? Good heel. Yes, good. Because of the behavior I developed earlier, which is him looking at me, right? He likes food, he wants food, he looks at me. Now I'm putting in the heel. So now it looks like heel. Good heel. Good heel, Burly. So the good is keep going. Good heel. Good heel, Burly. Yes. So if you guys missed that last video, again, the good is essentially just gonna be, hey man, keep going, keep going, keep going. The yes is gonna be the payment, and then we're gonna end. So right now we're ending, and we're gonna do this again. So we're gonna put it into motion. Burly, heel. Good heel. Now I can start marking good heel. Good heel, Burly. Good heel. Yes, and then pay. Now I do not have a sit in yet, and I do not have a down in yet, but what I am gonna do in this video and today right after this is the place command and the stay. Those are the things, that's the order I go in because the sit, I don't really care about and the down I don't really care about until later. Um, but right now we're working on leash introduction, leash working outside. Make sure you're in a non-distracted environment when you're doing this. Right now we're outside and there's nothing going on. So we actually have kids down here so we moved away from the kids so make sure you do that. So if your dog does pull, there's a couple things that you can do. Not all puppies at this age are gonna be this big, but you can switch to a training collar, like a plastic pinch collar or a slip collar. But at the end of the day, you want your dog to understand leash pressure. I have a really, really, really in-depth, thorough video on leash introduction right here with the dog that I worked with in Scottsdale, Arizona, that I think you guys should check out if you're interested in what that is. But essentially, you want the dog to learn how to shut pressure off using leash pressure and positive reinforcement. Pressure. Release, good, good, good Burly. So that's what you guys can do for pulling. You can watch this video, get a training collar. But if your dog is pulling too much without a really clear understanding of leash pressure and you don't wanna put equipment on them too early, which is what I'm mindful of, then you're probably just in too much of a distracted area. So you might wanna be doing this in your garage, maybe even in your driveway or where you're not gonna be distracted. That's all that means until your dog starts to fundamentally understand leash pressure and they're more mature and old enough for corrections and things like that. He's not too young for corrections by any means, but with the leash, I wanna make sure he's, his, this dog is gonna be almost 200 pounds. I wanna make sure we can walk this dog with one finger or off leash, which he's going to be completely off leash by the end of our training series here. But it's really important to me. Yes, good that he is really, really good on the leash. Okay, Burley, here we go again. Burley, heel. Good heel, good heel, good heel. Yes, you guys can hear me clicking a little bit. So that's called a competitive focused heel or a focused heel or whatever you wanna call it, it doesn't matter. Your dog's looking at you in motion. It's something that doesn't have to happen. It's something that you definitely do not need. A lot of people are just happy with their dog walking in motion and that's it, but with him, uh, because he has that focus, he's voluntarily offering it to me. So I'm gonna start marking it. To be honest, in the future, I may separate the focused heel with the regular heel, but we're gonna cross that bridge when we get there uh, with you guys on the channel. Heel. Good, so right now he's suspicious of the kids. So this is what he's doing. Just put your dog back into place. Come on, Burley. He's finding treats in his jowls. Good boy, Burley, come on. Good boy, Burley, good heel. Good heel. Good heel, nice, good. So you guys saw how I basically told him, come on, Burley, let's go. I didn't say good heel because he wasn't in good heel yet. I'm pushing into position with my leash and my positive reinforcement, and then I'm rewarding him when he actually gets in position. Heel. So I'm not gonna, yes, good heel, or that was my fault. 
Good heel. Because I said yes. It's good for you guys. That, make sure you keep that in, Abby. It's good for them to see that mistake. So I said the Y-E-S word, which basically means we're ending, so you had to pay them. So pull it into position. Really heel. Good heel, good heel. Yeah, good heel, Burley. Good heel, good, yes. And you really wanna only do this for small little increments, guys. You don't wanna do it for a long period of time. You're yesing or you're breaking in between. And this is what's gonna develop a nice loose leash walk. It's gonna develop the dog understanding what the heel behavior is, what the brake behavior is, and also uh, what, the, what the yes command is, which is essentially getting paid. Also, if anybody, uh, this is the first dog I've ever had that I've had to tape his ears because his ears flop in the wrong way. If anybody's any advice on how to make these straight and look good, I taped them for like three hours one day and now it's folded. And it like, they told me to fold it like a taco and now it looks like a taco. Look, see it? So if anybody has any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. So a lot of the dogs you guys see on this channel are way past this. They end up two, three, four, year and a half, year. They don't do any of this stuff and we have to go through and do it all over again. So this is the right age to do it. Right when you get your dog, start training. So you guys at home, make sure you're doing this as often as you can throughout the day. Like little 10 minute, 15 sessions are really great. Just put things into motion, heavily reward the dog. And then you'll see over a course of two to three days, your dog is gonna offer you this, this really nice heel. Your dog is gonna stop with you. And this is just gonna be the dog. This is how things are gonna go because you're really paving that way early on. The other important thing you guys can start introducing right now is the break command. I'm just not doing it much right here because typically with puppies, I throw food on the ground and say break and I don't want his head on the ground at all but you guys can start implementing break which essentially means the dog can do what they want if we're going to tell the dog what they have to do we have to be able to say okay break and be a dog let me show you what that looks like i'm only going to if i had a ball that would be more helpful i'll show you what it looks like with food just once that way you see what it, it can do and you'll see me be doing it with burley throughout his life so what you'll do is you'll stop okay break break good and you just start initiating that sound with the brake command. Good heel, Burley. So a lot of people have been asking me about everything about Burley, honestly. People are really liking him. I really like him. But they want to know everything about him and like how I'm training him, obviously, and what I'm feeding him and everything else like that. As you guys know, I feed my dog raw. He eats three times a day. This dog eats freaking three pounds a day. I've also been putting this Brutus broth on. So it's bone broth. They have a bunch of different proteins. I have chicken because that's what he eats. It's got really, really, really good nutrients for dogs. I always drink bone broth even when I'm not sick. And and all I do is I splash it on. It's also really, really good for picky eaters. So if your dog is a picky eater, maybe they're eating kibble or maybe they're older, or they don't have an appetite. The Brutus Brome Both is really, really good to put on top and you guys can get a discount code. Link is gonna be in the description. Burley, are you ready? He absolutely loves it. A Little bit of leash pressure. So this is an important piece here, guys. Once your dog doesn't stop with you, there's distractions up here. You move forward, you slow down and stop pressure. Just a stagnant piece of pressure if you have a flat collar, nothing too crazy. Guys, how long until the eclipse? Try Ben's, it's really good. Whoa. Isn't that crazy? All right, we're gonna go put him into his crate. If you guys haven't seen the crate introduction video, make sure you watch it here. That's why we're filming this thing in a series because you're gonna say, oh, you're gonna go put your dog into the crate while you're breaking to do the, the place command. How do you do that? That's how you do it. All these things are gonna gel together for a happy, healthy, trained dog. One eclipse later. All right, you guys, so Burley is up from his nap. I grabbed this random thing. You guys, for the place command, can literally use anything elevated. A box, a plastic thing, a bowl. Uh, we're gonna start off with something big. You can use a bed, you can use an elevated bed. We're gonna start off with this. And all we're gonna do is we got our treats out. Burley, place. Yes, good place. This is the very first time, honest to God, that he's ever done this. So. If you don't get that lucky, uh, you're gonna use your leash, you're gonna use your body, and you're gonna food lure. Break! This is where the break's coming in. Now he's hearing break again. Oh, okay, what's this? Really, place. Yes, good place. All fours on, the dog gets yes and then paid. Good, okay, break. Now we're gonna break the dog off. Good job, Burley, place. Yes, good place. Yes, good place. Good, now, now, I'm, honestly guys, it might look like he's done this before. I promise you he has not. So when we are placing, we're gonna make sure that we break the dog on our cue, just like we started breaking the dog in a heel. All of the things we're gonna be working on is an accumulation. That's why this series is gonna be so valuable for you guys. Holding, okay, break, break. 
Good. He's like, I don't want to break. This is great. Pay, pay me. Place. Yes, good place. Now, if your dog is getting off, you're going to use your leash pressure to keep him there until you break the dog on your cue, like this. Okay, break. If you guys want to use a like a slip leash or something like that, it might be more helpful. Place. I can show you guys. Yes, good place. Good place. We're going to be holding. Good. He offers me a sit. Good. Good. Again, he does not know sit yet. Good, Burley. Good place. Okay, break. Go to your place. Now, let's get into the objective. The objective of the place is being able to send your dog to a targeted location. So when you say place, it could be any, uh, uh, good place, good. It could be anywhere in the house. So when you do your place work, it could be, uh, it could be, you could point to the couch, you can point to a bed, you can point to their specific place. But at the end of the day, when you say place, the dog is to go to a targeted area. All right, so we're gonna move to a slip leash so I can start giving him a little bit more defined pressure aka a correction when he starts to get off so I don't have to tug him and pull him back on. Now it seems like counterproductive to say you're not gonna you're not gonna use the flat collar. Like I'll show you the defining tough place what this looks like. Using my body. Good place. Good yes. Good. Good. Yes, good. So again we worked on that day one. Yes, good. So any distractions that are happening around this dog, yes, he's gonna look at me as the, that's the objective anyway. Um, again, we worked on that previously, so now it's playing out in the actual uh, place work. So just so you guys know, this slip leash, this is, chew it, buddy. The No Bad Dog slip leash right here, it's, uh, it's got a spring-loaded um, tab right here so it stays in place. Most slips at home, if you don't have this, probably won't have it. Um, this is never gonna move unless you manually do it, which is really important. So it's right behind his ears, giving him a nice, fair, even correction. And that's important when you're handling a dog. Because before, when he was pulling so hard against, watch, I'll show you. So see that? So see that difference? When he had this, the flat collar on, when I was tugging on him, he was basically just pulling against it because it has no action. So you guys just saw he moved forward and I gave him two tugs and I got his attention back up to me. Good. If you guys are liking this video, uh, typically this costs thousands of dollars for people to get. We're doing this for free on you guys because I care about helping dogs. So make sure you subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, support the channel. Good. Okay, break. And all the equipment that I'm using is also on my website as well. So now we're gonna start diversifying the place command because I want you guys to be able to send your dog to a place command pretty much anywhere that they are. Really? Place. Yes, good place. So he's a big confident dog, you guys can see. I'm gonna give him a little bit of pressure back, good. So if your dog's a little bit of timid, just take your time, use your body, use your uh, food luring, use your leash, yes, good place. But this is how you start diversifying the place and also getting into the routine of sending your dog to your place. Likely the next time you guys watch a video of Burley, he's gonna be sending away to the place off leash without any problems. Okay, Burley, go to your place. Yes, good place. Getting paid for that. Burley, go to your place. Oh, good. So almost, Burley, place. Yes, good place, buddy. So you guys can do this 10, 15 minutes. Yes, good place. If you guys feed your dogs kibble or just in general when they're hungry in the morning, lunch and or dinner, you wanna do this then where they're motivated and eager to learn and hungry. Good, all right, so now let's throw some of these things together. Again, first time he's heard place, first time he's heard heel, first time he's heard break. Now the real training starts with this dog. Okay, break, burly heel. Good heel, good heel, place. Yes, good place. Holding, distraction. Yes, back to me, I'm gonna pick this up so we don't cross it on the way because he's not ready for that. Burly, heel, good heel, all the way. Good heel, Burley, place. Yes, good place. Really, really nice job. Again, distraction with a big piece of beef liver on the ground. Back to me, yes, because we worked on that. Back to me, yes, because we worked on that. All right, guys, so this is where, Abby always loves when I say this, this is where the rubber meets the road. This is where training actually gets started. Okay, break. 
So we just started the brake command, we started the place command, we also started the heel command. Now, as we continue with this, we're just gonna keep getting better and better and better and better. So over the next week, I should be training um, as much as I can throughout the day. Now we actually have something for him to do. And then we'll start the sit, and then we'll start the down. Uh, but right now we're working on these three things. If you guys are watching this three or four years from now, hello, welcome to the past. Burley is small, he is no longer small. Make sure you follow me on Instagram because I post a bunch of funny stuff throughout the day like his tongue hanging out. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time.